In one of my other videos, I showed you how to replace the hard drive in this Lenovo IdeaPad uh, with an SSD. Now that SSD drive has been working really well, sped up the laptop boot times really quick, uh, and the performance is generally improved when you're using it. So that's fantastic. Um, we obviously have the old hard drive. So this is a terabyte uh, drive here. And what we're going to do is take that hard drive and put it into this caddy. And that caddy can go in the place of the optical drive, which we don't really use for anything. So on this idea pad, the optical drive is here. Don't know if you can see that very well. Okay, so it didn't really want to focus on that, unfortunately. Um, but what I was gonna try and show is the, um, the plastics around here. Oh, that's better. You can see it here um, that it's kind of nice uh, curved plastic. So not all the drive caddies will fit. Um, so I had a good search around on AliExpress for uh, a drive where it, it specifically fit this model. Um, and they sent me this. So the caddy uh, does have that nice curved corner to it. Doesn't quite match it, but it's not far off. Um, so that was about seven pounds um, and came within, oh, it must be about a week and a half. So pretty quick. Um, so what we'll be able to do is pop that into the caddy. That's not quite wanting to go in. So what it's got is some little, ah, some screws on the side. So that's what's poking there. Let me unscrew that slightly. So that went in with a bit of force. Um, I had to push really hard at that bottom end just to get it into the connector. And now all I need to do is tighten up these because they're kind of rattly. Okay, so now those are all screwed in, no rattling. All we need to do, flip the laptop over. And so this screw here is the one that releases the optical drive. So what we'll need to do, unscrew that. Maybe turn this upside down and then it, there we go, it's dropped out. And then, to slide that out fantastic and you can see that matches that over there now i have trouble getting that in because of the one of these screws was still slightly uh, poking out um so i've removed that screw and everything's still not rattly and now i can slide that into place and it looks pretty much spot on, look at that. So all we need to do is pop that screw back in to secure it in place, and then we are done. Um, you'll be able to power the laptop up and your Windows will see that as an extra drive. Use that as a data drive. I'd suggest just leaving Windows where it is, not messing with that in case you ever need to flip back to, from the SSD uh, to the hard drive, you, you'll be able to sort of start off from where you uh, left that hard drive. So what you'll need to do first with some hard drives is download the Ashampoo HDD Control 3. Then go to, down to Advanced Power Management and hit the Set button. Go in here and untick Activate APM and apply that. So that saved that power management setting to the hard drive whilst it's in the laptop. Then you can move it into the caddy.